Hi, I'm G Butterfly, and I'll be continuing reading The Exchange by Yvette D. McGill. We're now at chapter five, and I will read a snippet of chapter five, and then the next video will be chapter six. Chapter five is titled, With All Due Respect. There's a quote at the beginning that says, When you know you are of worth, you don't have to raise your voice. You don't have to become rude. You don't have to become vulgar. You are just you, and you are like the sky is, as the air is. The same way water is wet, it doesn't have to protest, and there's no author for that quote. Again, I'm not going to read the entire chapter, but I will read a section of the chapter titled, Creating My Support System. Because I was a young mother, I found myself at birthday parties every Saturday, forming this circle of people I liked to be around. I started reaching out to women who I liked how they interacted with their husbands, or I liked how they interacted with their children, and I began to emulate what I saw. By surrounding myself with these people from the church or other social events, I created a better atmosphere where I know I was destined to go and where I knew ultimately I would end up. Even when my girls did not feel comfortable coming with me, they knew then and still have to this day this circle of people who they can go to and get the same advice I would give them. Because I heard my mom talk badly about her friends when she wasn't on the phone with them, sadly, I did not know how to pick healthy friends, be a healthy friend, or walk away from relationships that no longer served me. I had to learn the hard way how to value friendships. I had to lose a few to appreciate the next blessings. This process of identifying and finding friendships with a life was life changing for me. What did I learn from this? She says, friendships are important. How you do most things is how you will do a lot of things. The next section that I'm going to read from chapter five, it's called it's lonely, but I'm not lonely. Each time I say I'm lonely, no, each time I say it's lonely, but I'm not lonely, I feel stronger and stronger within myself. I have actually had almost everyone walk away from me for whatever reason. Most people left because God removed them. I know he needed me to go to the next level by actually facing them. You eliminate the distractions by actually realizing that they're there. I pretended that problems weren't there so that I didn't have to deal with them when they only became bigger later on in life. Realizing that you don't have to stay in a relationship or a friendship with someone is one thing that I stress to young girls or young people a lot. In other words, it's okay to put a period on some things in life, especially relationships. No one sat down and told me this, but in some kind of way, I started believing that everybody you were friends with as a child you were responsible for staying connected to them throughout your life. That's not true. It's okay to end relationships to realize that some things are not befitting of you anymore and that you need not allow them to be a part of your inner circle. What hurt me the most in life was not quickly realizing the distractions, analyzing them and getting rid of them. I probably would not be on this third marriage if I had learned how to put a period on some things instead of a comma. And she said, what did I learn from this? And she said to trust the process. And again, that was a snippet from chapter five of The Exchange by Yvette D. McGill. You can purchase her books on her website, www.yvettedmcgill.com. Stay around for chapter six.